Hey guys, what's up? It's the Electric DIY Coach. I'm right in the middle of filming another set of how to improve your basement lighting and I stopped to make this video for you. So right now I'm going to teach you how to, uh, you know, some tips about pulling Romex because if you don't do it the right way, it can fight you all the way. So we've already prepped our lights, we've drilled our holes. It's going to be all in the video of how to update lighting, how to update my cross space and basement video that I'm getting ready to drop. You can go back and watch it. But this is just some few tips and tricks. So when you get a roll of Romex, okay, it's gonna come like this. Okay, this is your standard residential house wiring, and it's gonna come with the, one of the leads right here. Now, you know, human instinct says pull that thing out and start pulling it, but what it does is that wire's curled up, and it will look like trash when you install it, and it will be so hard to pull, okay? So there's a couple different ways you can do this, and I'm gonna show you both of them right now. All right, so let's see if I can get the good angle on this. So when you pull it out, okay, there, this is one way to do it. You can pull it out, get a little bit out and straighten it. You want it nice and flat when you pull it. Then you're going to poke your hand through here. You're going to hold the roll and physically, let me get on the right side here so you guys can see what I'm doing. You're going to physically roll the roll. And it, what it's going to do, you're going to make sure you keep this in tight. What it's going to do is let that wire come out nice, smooth, and straight. Now there's another way to do it. Let me grab a set of cutters here and cut this off because it probably won't work with that little lead I've got. And I'm back. All right, so the other way to do it is like this. And this is a pretty cool way, and a lot of people like to use this way. So you'll take the wire, and you'll start bundling it in your hand, grabbing both ends. And it'll just start pulling and pulling. Make sure you're basically just getting the roll in your hand. And you pull out about how much you think you need or more. Okay? And you're going to get the wire in your hand, and then you're going to set the roll back down. And then you're going to physically unroll the entire roll. And what it's going to do is it lays it out flat and it lays it out straight. And I'll show you why here in just a second. Okay? Lays it out flat and straight. And you can go ahead and you know, roll around and keep rolling this way. And that way, when you get ready to pull your wire, it's nice and flat and straight. Okay? If you do decide to pull, and I'm going to show you a pure example of what you don't do, if you start doing this, look at that wire. It's curled up, it's bunched up, and when you go to pull it, it's going to rip, tear, it's going to fight you all the way, and it's going to look like trash when you get it installed. So I really encourage you, be careful, and it makes it so much easier. And if you pull that roll out and it gets all wild, it, you can't get it back together. It's a nightmare. So this is a small tip and trick. Please like and subscribe. You can learn, be a pro, learn from the pros. Let's get to it. 